with Bill Morrow from Angel's Den and he's going to talk to us a little bit about angel funding. Um, so can you tell us a bit why Angel's Den are here today at the B-Star? Sure, Sylvia, I mean, thanks, uh, thanks for the opportunity. Um, it's quite clearly Britain's largest business show and um, I'm Scottish and um, if we didn't do a lot of business from the show, trust me, we wouldn't be here. Mm. Um, so we had, um, um, we, we, we've got a rather a large stand, but we had uh, um, 88 people queuing at one stage yesterday, wow. which is like almost, almost too much. But then um, you, you can't, can you can it. never have, you can never have too much business. No, so yeah, exactly. that's that's awesome, awesome, yeah, yeah, awesome, awesome quality, um, and a very large number of people as well. So it's, you know, that, that, that for us, that's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Okay. So have you met any interesting um, people with? For you? Absolutely. I mean, I think the, the, the vast majority of people that we've met have been really good. There's some potential. They might need some work. We've met some really bad people as well. I mean, alarmingly bad. But you know what? I think that's part of our service as well, is, is actually to direct people and tell them what they need to do to sort of get um, further up the scale so they can attract funding at a later stage. Right. Okay. So what are some of the pieces of advice you'd give to these really bad ideas? How can they develop the, their ideas a bit further? Sure, I mean, I mean, I think the, the number one thing about having an idea is that ideas are ten a penny. So in Angel's Den we see 140, 150 ideas a day. Mm. The thing that differentiates the ones that we take forward are having an idea, having your prototype actually done, the website up and running, and you've actually sold something. Mm. So having an idea you'll never get funded. You need no to one, do it. Yeah, exactly. You need, you need to, you need to and, and how do you do that? You know, because it's not easy in this day and age. You need to bootstrap as far as you can. You need to get friends and family to put the money in. And then there really is more money than um, 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 needed out there. There's no shortage of money. Yeah. There's a real shortage of quality people. Okay, so what are the other kind of options for, for funding for small businesses? Sure, I mean, I think the, the, the trendiest one at the moment is crowdfunding. And crowdfunding is rather than having one person put um, um, the money in, you get 100 people putting the money in. And I think, I think that's cool and groovy for some companies, but in our experience, getting the money isn't the difficult bit. It's actually how you spend the money, yeah. um, and, and you can make a world of difference. I think there's a whole world of pain just about to come down on us from crowdfunding companies who've got the money and then go, well, I have no idea what to do with this money. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of the distinction between angels. Angels put the money in, but they give you mentoring, they give you advice, they give you business contacts. Okay. Um, they, 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 they do the whole thing. So it's horses for courses. Um, I'm really pleased to see that the banks are not here, um, yeah. which is um, because it's just, the guys. Oh. Oh, there's just no point in them even pretending that they are looking to invest because they're not. Um, they, they just genuinely have no money for anybody that we saw yesterday. And then there's, you know, there's fantastic guys like um, Funding Empire over there who are looking at a, a, a loan model. Um, 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 and that it's you know it, for individual circumstances the individual product's right, but on the whole you know we see 400 angels a day coming to our site, desperate to invest at more than the 1.7 percent they can get in the bank. Yeah. And you know these guys are cool. I mean these guys really want to help. Yeah, they want to invest. Mm. That's good. So um, what have Angels Den got planned for the rest of the year? Um, we're uh, talking to 14 governments at the moment, so we're looking at a, a vast international expansion plan. We're already in eight other countries, and by the end of the year, I think uh, we, we should have that up to at least um, 20. And we're looking at some more um, major projects. The big, big thing that we're looking at is, um, at the moment, we have um, nearly 20,000 entrepreneurs registered with us. Yeah. And we've been um, sort of um, just leaving them to one side. So we're now setting up the Angels Done Academy where we're going to teach people what it need, what they need to do to get investment ready, what sort of for, um, um, forms of finance are right for them, yeah. why they need to do that, how to do it, what do angels want to hear when they pitch. We did 5,200 pitches last year, so we're experts in terms of a woman. How does a woman pitch as opposed to a guy? How does a geek pitch? How does an academic pitch? How does somebody in retail pitch? Okay, so it's individualized. Individualized, personalized, personalized but just taking these people up that next step. Right, well, um, that, that sounds very promising. I'm cool. excited to see what you get up to in the rest of the year. Fantastic, thanks, Sylvia. It was very good to meet you. You too, Sylvia. Nice to to you. And uh, we'll keep an eye on you. We'll probably catch up again later. Cheers, <laughs> okay. thanks, Sylvia. Thank you.